Hey, welcome to another Bampai video and my name is Art and uh, today we have another manga reading video and manga reading basically means that we're going to spot cars in manga. I'm going to flip through pages, find cars, find what type they are, tell you a little bit about it, tell you a little about uh, the background of these mangas. Um, yeah, and uh, today's series is uh, Ama Goddess or Amega Visama by Kosuke Fujishima, also better known as Oh My Goddess in uh, the United States. Uh, these comics have a little bit of background, it's a bit of a weird comic. Uh, as you can see here, it's a, a bilingual comics, and that means that they have been translated to English. So there is a lot of English you can read here, but there's also Japanese written everywhere. The purpose of this manga was actually to learn Japanese kids to read English. So it's actually uh, learning yourself uh, to read English. And I did obviously a bit of the reverse. I tried to, to read Japanese, um, but that's quite difficult uh, to do the other way around if you uh, are not sure that all the text is exactly the same. Um, yeah, before jumping into this manga, I'd like to uh, clear up a couple of things from the previous video. So I got uh, two comments that are uh, going to be mentioned here. So the first one is by Thomas V4 Power, where he mentions that the taxi that I showed in the previous video is actually uh, Cedric and not a Toyota Crown Comfort. He's absolutely right with that. The picture that I've shown or the, the drawing that I've shown uh, the top one is a Cedric. I overlooked that one, but I identified the very same taxi at the bottom of the page, uh, which actually is a Toyota Crown Comfort. So the manga artist is here to blame. Uh, that's a bit of a weird uh, that they show the, um, uh, the taxi at the uh, top and bottom of the page uh, as a different taxi. Uh, then another comment by Gret CZ that he wasn't too sure about the Celica because it's a four-door. I agree with him, but he also writes that there is a Subaru Legacy uh, in that picture and two Benzes. Yes, I uh, probably uh, would have guessed that they are Benzes, but I'm not sure which ones they are. So hence I didn't mention them. Uh, 450, I would say this is a Coupe C10 and not the sedan. You are entirely right. Uh, he writes the inner pair of lights is smaller. So the deal is with the Yon Mary, that's the sedan, uh, it has the circular uh, rear taillights as well, just like the coupe. However, on the Yon Mary, the taillights, the two taillights are the same size, while with the coupe, the outer is larger than the inner. Absolutely well spotted. Uh, 745, I would say the C10, since this is an angled bonnet and the Bluebird seems to have a flat bonnet. Well spotted, thanks for that. All right, with that out of the way, let's uh, hop into this manga. So the story of the manga is basically that the rider, uh, Kazuka Fujishima, he's a car and a bike enthusiast. Uh, he wrote another manga prior to this called uh, you're under arrest. Um, that manga is quite famous for having or featuring the Moto Compo when it was new. Uh, also, Honda Today was featured in there. Some people mistake that for the Honda City Turbo 2. It's not the same car. I thought that a couple of years ago that it was actually the same car, but then I figured out that it's not. It's, uh, those two are related, but they're not the same. Anyway, uh, in, the, uh, in the comic, or the manga, the, there is a side story created where um, they bump into a goddess. They th he thought that it would be a great side story, or create a new series out of that side story, uh, where a goddess um, ends up at the surface of the earth. And that's basically this story. So the story starts with some um, university student called Keiichi Morisato um, and he's uh, taking care of the phone inside the dorm where he's living in. Um, yeah, his senpai asking him to, uh, to pick up the phone and basically be answering service. And of course, as they're his senpai, he has to ob obey that. Um, 
So he gets hungry, wants to phone uh, out for a pizza to, uh, to fill his stomach, and then uh, he dials the wrong number and he dials the goddess hotline. And the goddess hotline basically uh, helps people in distress. So this goddess comes out of the mirror and she asks him, what can I do for you? Uh, he's uh, surprised, obviously, and then thinks that this is just another joke by his senpai. So I'll get them and I'll teach them and I'll ask this girl to stay with me forever. And he says like, well, that's not never going to happen. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, she sends off this request to the heavens where she's from. Uh, and while sending that, we can see a Hino Contessa, a uh, 1300 coupe. One of the most beautiful cars made in Japan in the 60s. And it's really a shame that when Toyota took over Hino, uh, they uh, asked or asked, they told Hino not to create passenger cars anymore, but just focus on trucks. So that's a shame. Anyway, uh, the request gets sent and it gets approved. And this girl is going to stay with this guy forever. However, he's living in a men's dorm. So you can imagine what issues you would get into if they find out, you know, he's got a girl inside this man's door. So obviously they do the best thing that they can, just throw him out, it's not allowed. Um, he's being thrown out on the street with uh, just his gear and tell them, like, okay, tell us where you're going to live and we'll forward our, the, the remainder of your stuff. Um, apparently they fixed his bike in the meanwhile. And this bike is a BMW R75-5. So that's the fifth series of the BMW R series. Um, it, this is the first series that doesn't have a side cart mounted or the capability to mount, uh, mount a side cart. So this is definitely modified. And the side cart here is a Harley Davidson Ultra side cart. And that's quite funny because the, uh, it's not a BMW sidecar. And probably they, uh, well, the, the part of the story is that they probably modified this one. Uh, and his friends, his senpais, are quite clearly a bit, uh, you know, they're bozozoku and they are bikers. Uh, so probably uh, they like to modify his bike as well. Um, they travel out looking for uh, a place to stay and they end up eventually at this guy. He's an otaku, he's watching a laser disc uh, anime and uh, you know he thinks that this girl with Morosado is probably uh, part of what he's watching on the laser disc because the laser disc has such a high quality. Anyway, um, yeah, finally he realizes that she is real and he wants to touch her. He wants to see whether she is uh, genuine or not and whether she is soft. And then of course, uh, Morisato whacks him with a tape deck, really 80s style, uh, and they leave. They end up at a temple and decide to live there and the priest is fine with that that they live there because she, well, basically they're taking care of the temple. Um, so much for the storyline uh, uh, regarding the two of them. Then they end up at the university, obviously, because he's a university student. Uh, she is going to visit the, uh, the university as a student as well, exchange student. Uh, and a lot of stuff happens there that people are convinced that she's not an exchange student and want to uncover her. Uh, one of them is this girl. She's really fond of Keiichi. Uh, she's trying to impress him with this BMW 535i. It's an E34 series. Uh, nice uh, BBS rims. Uh, it's got the M60 engine, which is uh, officially a 3.4 liter engine, but it's marked as the 3.5, which is a bit odd. Uh, yeah, you know, that's uh, going to be part of that one. Then one of his senpais, he's really keen on taking photographs of a certain girl and they try to figure out oh, who it is because he's probably in love with her. Uh, this girl, she's riding a motorbike or a moped. It's a Yamaha BWS. 
uh, or BWs, uh, 50cc bike, and um, they're still selling this bike. Um, I think today it's, it's basically unchanged since the 1980s. It's a bit of a weird thing. Um, yeah, this, uh, this, this senpai is then uh, trying to help her out. Um, her bike is broken and he's going to fix it. And he figures out, he always carries his tools around, <laughs> which is weird. Uh, and he figures out it's the spark plug, so he exchanges that for the one in his ear, used as an earring. Um, then uh, Keiichi and Bell Dandy are uh, ended, ending up at this parking lot uh, where their bike is broken for some reason. Uh, the car next to them is uh, either a Mitsubishi Galant or a Sprinter Liftback E90. I can't see it because it's got this, uh, you know, uh, it's a big text balloon on top of it. Uh, and then the story continues. This guy goes visit uh, that girl. His dad, uh, her dad approves and wants him to marry the girl and he bails out. That's book number one. Book number two, uh, it's a funny story where they take part of a rally. So this Keiichi Morisado and his senpais are uh, members of the motor club of the uh, MIT. So they try to uh, win all sorts of races and they're uh, racing against another motor club in the very same university. So he's in the uh, underdog motor club and they're in the uh, we've got way too much money motor club. Um, in this rally, they are going to uh, join with a Mazda T2000. Uh, the T2000 is basically a delivery truck from the 50s and the 60s. It's a three-wheeled truck. Uh, I think Daniel O'Grady got a really nice uh, video about uh, one or two of them, so please do check that link here. Um, and they have modified this truck. As you can see, it's got independent rear suspension. It's got a front wheel that is also powered, three wheel drive, uh, FRP body, uh, Momo steering wheel, standard stereo. It's like <laughs> a weird, weird, weird machine. Yeah, we have a van here that we can identify. That's a Toyota Light Ace. XL7 and the reason why I know it's an XL7 is because it says here it's four-wheel drive It's the light ace and I did a video on the light ace not too long ago. Do check that out um, And the only light ace that has a flat floor like this and four-wheel drive is the XL7 Hence I know it's the XL7 uh, the competition doesn't have a Mazda T2000 but actually a 1966 Shelby GT350 based on a Mustang. Uh, that's one hell of a machine to compete against. And of course, they are the underdogs because you can't win from this in a normal race. Um, they really try to uh, drive uh, the rally according to all the rules. Uh, and of course, the other team is cheating uh, in all sorts of ways. Um, here you can see that they end up at the split. There's a car uh, exiting here. That's a Nissan Laurel C31 hardtop. Um, and then we have a couple of things that are happening. I'm not going to spoil too much of the story, but there is a lot of competing and cheating. And uh, they ru she runs out of energy again, and he has to perform some sort of ritual. They can continue. Um, here in the mountains, they're following a Mitsubishi Minica. It's the seventh generation, a probably four wheel drive and really typically late 80s car. Yeah, and they end up winning the rally because the Shelby isn't able to drive that quickly on the sandy beach that is in the late in the last stage and they're able to win because of the third wheel at the front being powered and there is apparently uh, some there are some stones underneath the sand of the beach so obviously they can accelerate in a much faster pace 
and they win. Um, next story is about a, a, an airplane called the Shinden. I'm not going to tell you too much about this story, but there are a couple of uh, things that I can identify in this story. That's the VW Beetle over here that doesn't have an engine. They're trying to sell everything uh, that's owned by the club. And here in the small remark it says, try sticking a Corolla engine or something in there for the moment. Uh, <laughs> that would be fun. Um, yeah, this other team, the, the NITFWC, the Nakomi Institute of Technology Four Wheel Club. Um, the Four Wheel Club is um, displaying this awesome Koenig uh, Porsche. It's a really nice Porsche, uh, a 928. And this 928 uh, was also featured some time ago with the Pacific Coast Auto um, weekly auctions video. And in this weekly auction video, um, yeah, they show basically some auctions that are out there on uh, the car auctions um, that you can send in, by the way. Uh, and someone sent in a Koenig Porsche. And this Koenig Porsche, it's slightly different than this one, uh, but the basic idea is the same. Uh, you get really wide fenders, you get deep dished wheels. Um, it, it's mostly just the outside of the car that gets tuned. Uh, something that was typically done in the 80s. Uh, and the body style of Koenig was outrageous. It's a German company, by the way. And the Japanese really love these Koenigs. They were importing them like crazy. Um, so Koenig Porsche, watch that video. Uh, it's in the link here. Uh, then a lot of stuff that we can skip because it's not too interesting. They, they fly this airplane in the end. And then the final thing that we can identify in the storyline here is some Honda Super Cup. And the Honda Super Cup is basically the motorcycle that has been in production forever by Honda. It's, it's an, a truly amazing motorcycle or moped. All right, that's it. What I can show you as cars or motorcycles that are interesting in this episode. And another shot of the author here. Um, you can see he's wearing a mask here, uh, which has uh, kind of a hint towards his background with the Bozozoku. Okay, so that's it. That's what I can show you about these two mangas. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed the two of them. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, um, remarks on the things that I've shown you, please leave them below in the comments. Uh, and also, uh, hopefully next time I'll finally be able to show you either Overref or uh, Shakatan Boogie. And uh, that's it for me. Thank you for watching and hope to see you next time. Ba 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 bam, 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 bam,